China. I am Lima Tejano from the Institute of Fish Processing Technology. For this episode, you will learn the steps and the science behind fish smoking. Are you excited? Let's dive in! Smoking is one of the oldest methods used to process and preserve meat and fish. Nowadays, the main focus of smoking has shifted from being a method of preservation to sensory quality and flavor enhancement of products. There are several methods of smoking. In cold smoking, the temperature should be maintained below 30 degrees Celsius and it is used to impart aroma and flavor to the fish muscle. Liquid smoking, this method uses a liquid concentrate to transfer the aroma and flavor of smoke into the fish muscle. On the other hand, in electrostatic smoking, fish are treated with smoke in an electric field. The electric field acts on the ionized smoke particles, accelerating the smoking process, thereby shortening the smoking period. Perhaps shorter than the additional process of hot smoking that uses both heat and smoke. Generally, the temperature should be maintained above 30 degrees Celsius and the normal range is 70 to 80 degrees Celsius. In this instructional video, we will be doing the hot smoking method using two types of smokehouses, the drum type smokehouse and the APOS storage kiln. Aside from the mentioned equipment, we will also use the drying house and the following materials. Fish raw material, in this case, chilled deboned milkfish, ice to keep our samples fresh, brine solution to infuse saltiness to the raw materials, different containers, drying tray, charcoal and sawdust, thermometer, and polyethylene bags. To give you an overview of the smoking process, here is a summary of all the steps. To ensure high-quality smoke products, appropriate handling and preliminary preparation must be applied to our raw materials. It is recommended to cold shock the harvested fish at the pre-river phase and let rigor mortis pass by storing the raw material in ice for at least one day before conducting the splitting and deboning. Remember, in doing any post-harvest processing and preservation, always keep in mind to use fresh and well-iced fish raw materials. The second step is salting. In this procedure, we need to soak the fish in the brine solution for 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, remove the fish from the brine solution and arrange in smoking trays. Sprinkle with potable water to remove excess salt on fish surface and remove the excess water by tilting the trays. For the next step, drying. This is done to remove the surface moisture of the fish muscles before the smoking proper. When using the drum type smokehouse, allow solar drying of the fish at approximately 50 degrees Celsius for 30 to 35 minutes. When using the AFOS store kiln, load the smoking trays and set the temperature controller at 50 degrees Celsius, still at 30 to 35 minutes. Smoking introduces flavor, taste, and preservative compounds into fish muscle by exposing fish to the smoke produced by burning plant materials, usually wood. The volatile compounds in smoke penetrate into the fish muscle. Smoking usually extends the shelf life of fish due to the combined effects of salting, which lowers water activity, resulting in reduced microbial growth. Elevated temperature drying, which provides a physical surface barrier to the passage of microorganisms and the position of antimicrobial and antioxidant compounds such as aldehydes, carboxylic acids, and phenols, which delays microbial growth and rancidity development. Moreover, fish muscle exposed to smoke in combination with high temperature can effectively limit harmful enzymatic reactions. During this step, the fish is smoked for 1.5 to 2 hours at 70 to 80 degrees Celsius or until the fish has achieved a golden brown color. 
For the hot smoking in a phosphoric kiln, the temperature is gradually increased every hour, starting at 60 degrees Celsius in the first hour, 70 degrees Celsius in the second hour, and 80 degrees Celsius at the third hour until the fish achieves a golden brown color. Once smoking is done, air cool the smoked products at ambient conditions. Individually pack the smoked fish in polyethylene bags and seal. Then, store the smoked fish at negative 20 degrees Celsius. In hot smoking, the fish is completely cooked and consumers can eat it without further cooking. FDA guidelines suggest that safe vacuum or modified atmosphere package hot smoked fish products require at least 3.5% water face salt and must have reached a center temperature of at least 62.8 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. This prevents the production of toxins by Clostridium botulinum. Moreover, hot smoke fish products must have a water activity of 0.85 or less to give a stable shelf life. The smoking process is usually characterized by an integrated combination of salting, drying, heating, and smoking steps in a smoking chamber or smoke houses. Vacuum, modified, and controlled atmosphere packaging or canning can increase the shelf life of the smoked fish products. Did you enjoy what you have learned today? If yes, comment down below, give this video a like, and don't forget to hit subscribe.